Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the TextPath widget to create unique typographic designs on your website. Text on a path can be used in a variety of ways to draw attention to your website and engage your visitors. For this tutorial, we'll create this round seal as a way to enhance the website's authenticity and we'll give it a motion effect as well to really grab visitors' attention. All right, let's get started. In the Elementor editor, search for the text path widget and drag it in. A line of placeholder text will appear. Replace it with your own text. You can use standard glyphs in your text if you'd like, such as the bullet symbols I've used here. The dynamic tags icon here indicates that dynamic content can be selected by clicking the icon. The same is true for any other field displaying this icon. As you see here, the text I've added doesn't all fit on the path currently. We'll take care of that shortly in the style tab, but first we'll go through all the content options. I'll toggle show path on to better visualize the various text paths. We'll switch it back off towards the end of the tutorial. For the path type, there are a number of preset options to choose from. Wave, which is the default, arc, circle, line, oval, and spiral. There's also an option to upload your own custom text path by way of an SVG file. I'll upload a file I've already created and insert it. Cool. You can add a link to the text here to function like a button. Paste in a URL or type in a page name for your website and select the link when it displays. Click the gear to adjust the link options. You can align the text path widget to the left, center, or right. I'll align it to the center. There's no visible change right now because the default widget size of 500 pixels takes up the whole column. The moment we change the size, however, you'll be able to see the selected alignment. To change the direction of the text, choose RTL for right to left text or LTR for left to right text. Now go back to path type and select circle in order to create the seal. Great, the text path content is all set. Now let's style it. Click the style tab. You can use percentage or pixels for the size settings of the text path. Drag the slider or type in a value to adjust the size. Notice that the center alignment, which I set before, is now visible. Now use the slider to rotate the path, or type in a value to set the exact angle. Next, use the typography settings to fit the type to the path. I'll select a global font, and then use the custom font settings to tweak it. You can further tweak the type by adjusting the word spacing, as well as the text starting point. As you can see, in this example, the text gets cut off, but it can be useful for adjusting the position of shorter amounts of text on a path. To change the text's color, choose a custom or global color. Nice! The text path is really taking shape. Let's add a hover effect to the text to indicate that this element is interactive. Choose the hover color and a hover animation. Adjust the transition duration if desired. Cool! Last in the Style tab is the Path Settings section. This only displays when Show Path in the Content tab is toggled on. Select the first color to add a path fill color. Note that this option may be most fitting for closed paths, such as circles and ovals. Now select the path stroke color and adjust its width. You can play around with these settings to get some interesting and fun effects, like this one. 
You can also add hover effects to the path settings if you'd like. I'll go back to content and toggle show path off. It looks great and we could leave it as is, but to really make it stand out, we'll add a motion effect so that the seal will rotate when the page is scrolled. Click Advanced and expand the Motion Effects section. Toggle Scrolling Effects on and click Rotate. Change the direction and adjust the speed. Great! The last step is to optimize the design for mobile. Click the Responsive Mode icon, go back to Style, and adjust the size. Perfect! Keep in mind that you can adjust the responsive settings for any element with a viewport icon. OK, great. Exit responsive mode and hide the panel to preview. Wow, the seal really adds credibility to the brand. Awesome! And there you have it. You now know how to use the TextPath widget to design your own typographic compositions. Whether you use it playfully or in a more authoritative manner, we trust in your creativity and can't wait to see what you come up with. How will you use the TextPath widget? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to hit the notifications bell.